Live from the headquarters of racing in Akron, PA, it's the TNA Racing's pre-race show. And now your host, Troy and Alex. Well, hey now, hey now. Hey there, Alex. Looks like you're missing something uh, there. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot to wear my clothes. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard that happen there out on the track. <laughs> yeah, we were right. Man, I hit one of those bumps and my clothes just fell right the fuck off. I tell you, that Nuremberg ring, that is a challenge. Oh, that was definitely a challenge. We, we actually ran two races and uh, 16 lap races a piece. And wow, wow, we're watching like, you, what you hear in the background there is the recap of the second race we did and wow. Top speed, 200 mile an hour. That was you. And uh, see, actually we had to bet that, you know, whoever lost the, the, the lap time and the fastest time would have to stand here naked and do the show. Well, we kind of both tied. He got the fastest time, 200 miles an hour, and I got the fastest lap. But uh, I was just like, ah, the hell with it. So uh, I'm a man of my word. I said I would do it. I lost half the bet, so I don't care. I lost the other half of the bet, so I figured I'd show off my physique and my tan. Took the man boob. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that that Nuremberg ring, wow, that is uh, something else. After racing those two races, we know that track now. There is other uh, another version of that track where it's more. I think that's what we're going to get into. I think. But, yeah, that's uh, like a 15 mile uh, length of track, and we were racing a 13 mile uh, uh, track. Yeah, I think it's more the, the 15 miles more technical at the beginning. I think. And then you get into the part that we just raced twice, but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a cool race. Definitely the uh, cool car, the Subaru BRZ. BRZ is kick ass. That thing was almost too fast for that track. Yeah, she was a rocket <laughs> without <Well>. the rails. <laughs> Here's what was weird with well, I guess I set the fastest lap time on both with without the motor and with the motor or transmission, whatever it was, and. Uh, so I got that, but you got the top speed. I almost thought that was a wash on that anyways, uh, because on the on that track, there's that one, the last mile, mile and a half or whatever, you can just go flat out. If you had the motor and you didn't have any damage, you were gonna get the top speed and well, you didn't. So I guess you won that part of the challenge. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, what was that? Lap three, I think it was. Yeah, lap three, yeah. Yeah, and after that, uh, I couldn't keep the motor together. Well, neither could I. Anyway. Yeah, that one turn. I kept hitting the wall and putting damage on my bumper, and that was enough to stop me from totally winning the challenge. Yeah, I still got some tricks up my sleeve. Yeah. I was feeling pretty good, though. I mean, as you, you gave me kudos the last show, whatever, saying over this period of time, I've improved the most, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I was feeling it. There's times where I definitely felt like, you know, I was getting after it in different sections of the track better than you. I don't know why, but I was. I, I just know there's a lot of gear shifts in that track. It is very technical. And uh, be putting down the lap times we did and the speeds we did, I'm impressed. I am definitely impressed. Yeah, way impressed. Both of us did a hell of a job on that track. So we're going to have to get on out there and get after it some more. Yeah, I think we should do the uh, other track, the 15 mile long. Sounds all right. Um, you know, part of the reason why you know still don't have the shirt on or nothing is it's hot in that car, I man. We're out there 16 laps. I mean, come on. I was dehydrated and shit. I was peeling clothes off, and then the rest just flew off. Man, I was sipping the old Gatorade there a while. You got that <laughs> little straightaway in the back there. Yeah, I was dehydrating too. Yeah, steer with your steer with your knee. And <laughs> drink the water, Gatorade. <laughs> don't drink the water. <laughs> no, don't eat the yellow snow. That's what they say. Oh, oh, is that what it was? That's what it was. Anywho, we're going to get back to racing. Just want to give you an update on uh, the first couple of races we did today. And it was quite challenging. It was awesome. So stay with us for the post-race show. We'll give you some more info. And until uh, then, see you. Bye. Well, bye, well, bye. Well, what, well, what, 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 what? We forgot our sponsor. Your sponsor. Mary Jane. She is the sponsor of everything we do. Without Mary Jane, none of this could be possible. And Mary Jane might just cure you of everything you think you have. You have. All right. Peace out. We'll see you here at the post race show. See you at the post race. Peace out. 
right now we're struggling with setup on this car. It's just pretty good. Little front end push. We've been slowly taking that out. This race we're in is freaking tough. Just can't quite seem to do it. Alright, we're gonna run with these settings. See what happens. Big bunches up in the first corner. Nothing like a little damage to start a race with. Was that me who did that? No. That was behind you. I think you got caught up in it, but well, maybe. That might be me. That's why you're following me. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I didn't think you were the cause of it. We'll have to look at the replay of the replay of the replay. Look at that bolt. Yeah. I think we've seen some automotive discrimination there. What do you say? 
Yeah. Fresh tires, full tank of gas. Fucking walk and ship on rails. My car is quick to keep it up on boost. Boost! Boost, baby, boost! show once again your host Troy and Alex well holy shnikes dude I will tell you what that track is just highly technical almost like uh, in NASCAR Darlington too tough to tame wow that is tough it was twisty turny you only got about a car and a half with the track to work with it was just took every ounce of our skill. I'm almost going to have to say that's that's quickly becoming one of my favorite tracks. And, and in this game, in general, people that race this game all over the, the world seem to make that. That's the track. So, I think they were doing 100 lap races, too. Wow. I mean, we did, what, 30-something lap races? And, and the full course race, too. The, you know. Yeah, the 50. The 15-point-something mile track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Something like that, yeah. But man, it's definitely a challenge, and uh, definitely enjoyed it. Um, I don't totally cry again. Here I am standing, you know, no shirt, neither you. But uh, that was the deal. One of us well, had the fastest lap, which was you, and I had the fastest top speed. So. That was a cheat. That was a cheat. That was all because you know you had the thing leaned out, and by the time I got in the seat, we didn't do it. So I call bullshit on that. I think we need to do a redo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We could do a redo. A redo. A redo. When we're, when we're going for the fastest time, we need to be leaned out the same way so that we can easily see who's got the bigger balls to go as fast into a turn or whatever. Well, I tell you what, Alex, my tidy whiteys here have a few extra guardrails. Uh, I'm sure they do. All I, right. I can't say my tidy whiteys do because I don't have any tidy whiteys on right now. Sands the tidy whitey. <laughs> it's just the seat that's got the skid marks. <laughs> Good thing you put that towel down. That's right. So uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor again today, Mary Jane. Without Mary Jane, none of this would have been possible. And Mary Jane can cure you of anything you think you may have. I should try and get like a Gillette or something to be a sponsor, you know, to get the, the main grooming stuff, you know. Keep me trimmed up as beautiful as I am, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what do you call that thing, the, the, the groomer 2.0 or something? Yeah, I actually have one that has a vacuum on it. I can't even remember the name of it, but um, none of the hairs go flying anywhere. It just uh, sucks it up into the little thing. And that's what she said. Ah, it's great for when you shave your face and fly over. But anyways, that's another whole story, but... Yes, for another uh, race day, uh, Nuremberg Ring had a blast. Uh, can't say enough about it. The car, the BRZ, awesome car. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time we uh, hit the track. Got anything else there, Troy? No, I think we pretty much covered it all this time. Went pretty smooth. I think we're getting our act together. I definitely think as a team, we uh, you setting up the car for the most part. I mean, you get feedback from me on how it feels and stuff, but I think we're definitely coming together as a team. Yeah, especially in the tuning. That tuning is so critical in some of these races. It is so close. For sure. So, anyways, till next race, stay safe and uh, don't do this at home, kids. We're professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Until yeah. next time, yeah, uh, we're going to go fuck some shit up later on. So, peace uh, out. If you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. That's right.